this video, we take a closer look at a rigorous tennis practice and workout regimen that Rafael Nadal follows to retain his position as one of the top players in the sport. From intense cardio workouts to strength training exercise, Rafael Nadal's training routine is designed to improve his agility, endurance, and overall fitness. We also look at an inside look at the drills technique that he uses to sharpen his tennis skills and prepare for the biggest match of his career. So sit back, relax, and get ready to get inspired by Rafael Nadal's dedication to his craft as we take a deep into practice and work a routine. Cable machines allow Rafael Nadal to train in standing positions will force him to engage almost every muscle in the body, turning most movements into whole body exercises. Whole body exercises will make Rafael Nadal work much harder and also bring about a strong cardiovascular response. Rafael Nadal has a right-hand dominant who plays left-handed with a two-handed backhand, he is able to put more of his naturally dominant side into the shot. It is a very effective shot, and it has improved over the years. Rafael Nadal has the best two-handed backhand that tennis has ever seen. He plays too close to the racket face on the shot and gets perfect extension at the contact point on top of having no technical flaw. It is almost certainly one of the most underrated shots in tennis. He is able to generate pace like no other tennis player on tour on the backhand side for the two-handed backhand and currently holds the record for the fastest two-handed backhand ever hit at 103 miles per hour. Swimming is the best exercise for tennis players. It is just not cardio, it is also resistance training, like weightlifting, yoga, meditation, and breathing exercises all combined into one. It works on all parts of Rafael's body. It is also good both for physical as well as mental health. It will improve his heart condition, reduce Nadal's cholesterol, improve blood flow to various parts of his body including his brain, and improves overall conditioning. It has a very low probability of resulting in injuries, as a matter of fact, physical therapists use water exercises for rehab as it is difficult to make jerky movements in the water. Nadal has been practicing on his first serve a lot. His serve has never been his best shot and is the closest thing his game has to a weakness, like Federer's backhand and Novak's net game, Rafael Nadal's serve is a brilliant shot, but it isn't as strong as the rest of his tennis game. Nadal put in a lot of work and improved his serve some time in his early. Nadal's serve at the 2010 US Open was absolutely magnificent. Rafael's second serve is one of the most relatively effective serves on tour as compared to his first serve. He is able to hit his second serve over 90 miles per hour on a consistent basis. His average second serve speed is 95.5 miles per hour while his average first serve speed is 115 miles per hour. This along with his masterly baseline game permits Rafael Nadal to win an extraordinarily high percentage of second serve points. Nadal has the highest win percentage of any tennis player customarily on second serve points winning 57.5% of his second service point throughout his career. Cycling will help Rafael Nadal improve his leg strength and endurance, which can help him when running down the tennis court. Ladder drills improve Rafael Nadal's footwork. Ladder drills are a great form of foot speed training, improving his quickness in a tennis game. If any tennis player is looking for a full-body cardio workout to include in his or her strength training program, consider practicing ladder drills. Leg curls target his hamstrings and give them a shapely curvature, as well as smoothly transition the hamstring muscle where it connects at the bottom of his glutes. Nadal uses a more western grip for his forehand to generate so much topspin, the problem is that it can lead to wrist injuries if you aren't an experienced player who knows how to hit it properly. This kind of topspin is very similar to playing a lob on a regular basis and is negatable if there is more space behind the baseline, center court of most elite tournaments. Finishing a point as a winner is only achievable through tough angles and is of course slightly easier for a lefty. Nadal is a master at his lasso forehand, which he hits with his left hand, which is another advantage of his playing style. He has a really unorthodox racket grip. The surface of the racket is almost perfectly vertical, and his wrist and, to some extent, the arm appear to be nearly fully rotated back. In contrast to a typical topspin shot, such as one made by Federer, who hits his shots relatively flat, which is neither better nor worse, it also depends on the surface, he generates that much topspin by correcting this rotation back, allowing the racket to curl over the ball by an additional amount. 
Rafael Nadal's grass record by matches is a 78.9% win percentage and it is comparable to some very interesting names. Although grass is not Nadal's preferred playing surface, he has grown to appreciate its organic qualities, particularly when the weather warmed up, the courts got a little chewed up, and the ball bounced a little higher. Playing on grass was less taxing on his knees than playing on a hard court, and I believe he eventually grew to love it and feel at ease there. Rafael Nadal's physical endurance is improved through wall sits. He will be able to maintain the wall sit position for longer as he performs this exercise more frequently, which will increase his physical endurance during tennis matches. Nadal's steadiness may be improved via wall sits. When performing wall sits correctly, the person uses his lower back and abdominal muscles as stabilizers. Stationary bike workout helps to strengthen major muscle groups that support the back, leg, and thigh muscles, as well as the hamstrings. The motion of riding a stationary bike consists of two types of movements, pushing and pulling. When he pushes down on the pedal, he is strengthening his quadriceps. Pulling up targets the hamstrings. Quality tennis footwork is the most critical element for Nadal's solid game. He needs to practice his footwork in order to be able to change directions rapidly, chase every ball, respond swiftly, and remain competitive on the court. Any dedicated tennis player may use these drills to make their feet into a weapon by using them in an effort to get better. Rafael Nadal's footwork and style were designed to be effective on clay, they were created exclusively for that surface, so much so that they hinder him on hard courts. More than any other player before him, he was designed from the ground up to put a spin on his shots. There, Federer might have served as an example since, while remaining aggressive, he used his forehand to produce the most spin ever seen to become the best player before Nadal. Rafa's forehand is significantly better than his backhand, and because Clay absorbs more of the ball's energy, he has more time to execute shots on his stronger wing. He frequently circles backhanded to unleash more so than on any other.